Okay. Um, so just to show again, um, basically this was um, a patient with anal cancer. They came in for an uh, axillary lymph node biopsy. Um, the ultrasound looked very unusual. It was echogenic. It had a lot of shadowing. The first thing that came to my mind was um, like, this looks almost like that tip of the iceberg from a dermoid. Um, but as Dr. Fetzer just correctly um, identified, this was actually silicone. And so we biopsied it and it came back for uh, granuloma and granulomatous inflammation. Um, I'll just show you the CT. Ah. This was the patient CT. And you can see that there's some large lymph nodes in the axilla here. The patient has bilateral implants and there was um, a contained rupture, um, but it was enough mm. to basically cause this very extensive lymphadenopathy here. So if you see something unusual, like a, a lymph node in the axilla looking like that, um, try to see if the patient has a silicone implant and it could just be granulomatous um, uh, deposit of the silicone in, into the lymph node. Um, occasionally they will biopsy these. Um, so silicone, this was a silicone granuloma from rupture. It can go to the axillary and neck lymph nodes, uh, causes inflammation and granuloma. And um, occasionally they will biopsy if there's concern for a collision lesion. So if there's an associated breast mass, there has been some association of silicone implants with lymphoma, uh, for example, but it's, it's, it's very, very rare. There's been basically no association of silicone implants with breast cancer. Um, but if you do see an associated mass with the breast, then sometimes it will biopsy the lymph node for that purpose. Any questions? We see it a lot in patients that have had uh, free silicone body uh, sculpting. You know, they go down to Mexico and they have uh, uh, gluteal, <laughs> pectoral, uh, thigh, free injections of silicone for body sculpting, and then they end up with massive lymphadenopathy depending on the body's reaction. And it's very, very FDG avid, and so it's often misdiagnosed as lymphoma. Awesome, yeah, that, that's a really good point. So yeah, silicone injections elsewhere can cause that lymphadenopathy. And then, yeah, we got tricked by the FDG avidity on the PET. Um, but we did say it was a little unusual, it was unusual for anal cancer to go to the um, axilla, but um, we should have kind of tied it together with the, with the silicone implant.